Hello, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we got something that I need to talk about. So, I want you guys to just listen for a minute. This is kind of, you know, this is kind of something that, that like, I feel like I need to talk about because I, I don't want anybody to be confused whatsoever. This is and always was a console channel, and it's not going to change. Like, this is a console channel. Um, it's essentially... Um, in an Xbox, you know, an, an Xbox centric channel. Like I believe in the business model that Xbox is bringing to the table for, for gaming. Like I believe in game pass. I believe in Xbox series X. I believe in Xbox series S. I believe in the market value, the market that they are trying to get into with these particular consoles. And to a certain extent, I still believe in PlayStation. I believe the PlayStation can turn that ship around and come back to and, and and be competitive and be competitive. My PC gaming that I've been doing is is not really representative of what this channel is and the the content I've put out, you know, over the last couple of days. You know, you know, talking highly of like the PC and and this and that and and talking down on the consoles. Um <clears throat> Not necessarily talking down on the consoles, but, you know, kind of being more of like a realist, you know, of of what's going on and, and just being frustrated when I hear games like, you know, Gotham Knights coming out at 30 frames a second. That kind of makes me a little bit a little bit irritated that, that these consoles, you know, they 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 were. They were marketed as 4K 60 frames a second, you know, up to 120 frames a second. So. That's kind of what we expect as gamers, you know, and we're, we're always stuck holding the bag at the end of the day when we're, when they're like, oh yeah, you know, these, these, this, this, and this, and they make all these lofty promises during the beginning of the generation. And then we wait till the end of the generation for those, for those to finally come to fruition. And this generation is no different than any other, but this is the first time that we've actually gotten consoles potent enough to be able to deliver on most of that, most of that, like 4K, you know, 60 frames a second on, 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 on certain games, stuff like that. I, 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 I really did think that we were going to turn a new page this generation and start going for, you know, more performance over, over the pretty visuals because our visuals are already good enough. Like that, that's the thing. Like the visuals are already pretty freaking pretty good like i played a video game of red dead redemption 2 earlier in a video and i and i i mean like this is the video i was trying to make when i made that one this this is the video i was trying to make when i made that one so i just decided to not play any video games and just come to you and talk to you straight because the message that i was trying to get across was look how good our video games already look on last gen consoles like they already looked incredible you know i mean maybe you know get us some more vegetation maybe a little bit better textures and you know i mean like a little bit of stuff we don't really need that much but the performance man like gosh the performance playing that game and and, and i was trying to explain that during that video with the red dead redemption 2 is playing that game at 60 frames a second and above it completely changes the experience it, it changes the experience enough to where you're like, whoa, man, this is really, really good. And that's all I was trying to get across in that video. I'm not trying to talk down on our beloved consoles because I love my Series X and I'm heavily invested in it. I love my Series S. That thing's a beast on a 1440p monitor. And I love my PlayStation 5. I do. I love the games that PlayStation makes. I, I do love them. I enjoy playing them. And... You know, when, when I get them, I, I, I play through them and I, and I enjoy that experience and that's the way it should be. But when it comes to Xbox, man, <laughs> Xbox is a completely different beast than what I see PlayStation as. Like I literally see PlayStation as an, as my exclusive console for my exclusive games that I, that I don't see it as anything other than that. And is it PlayStation used to be my number one, my number one console. It was my go-to for everything, but now that's Xbox. Xbox is that number one spot for me. And man, I love, I love what the, the type of games that Xbox is bringing. It makes me feel like I'm a gamer again. PlayStation is getting, 
has gotten to the point where like everything's about visuals and, and high quality story and, and this and that. And then th that's fine. I obviously I like it cause I keep buying it and I keep playing them. You know what I mean? Like, obviously I like that, but when it comes to Xbox, Xbox makes me feel like a gamer again. I feel like I'm a gamer, like I'm playing games and I'm trying new things and I'm, and, and, and my, and my delusional, like, hey, my gosh, it's quality. You know, like the, all the little, little guys say that all the Xbox stuff is fodder and PlayStation is just premium, whatever. It's helped me break down those walls so I can enjoy games like Scorn, so I can enjoy games like like The Last Ori Crew or Elix 2 or just a bunch of other games that other developers that don't have that Call of Duty virtuous cycle money to keep pumping into these high quality exclusives. They're making games still. They're bringing experiences that like PlayStation is just playing it too safe. They, they're, they're playing it safe. They're going for the visuals and the story and whatever else they can put in there and say, yeah, this is quality. And that's cool. That's fine. We love those. We do love those. There is a place for those types of games. But to let ourselves get so sidetracked from the, from the experiences that these other developers bring to the table, that sucks, man, because you're cheating yourself because you are not, if, if that's all you're caring about, if that's all you care about, is just those high quality visuals and those high quality stories and stuff like that. Then, then that's cool, man. Like, I'm not going to tell you how to be a gamer. You're a freaking gamer. You're a grown person. You can, and I mean, maybe, maybe you're younger, like whatever you're, you are in charge of your gaming, do it how you like it, but don't come to my channel and tell everybody in my freaking audience that their games that they love are trash because of your little, Un unrealistic fantasy with your PlayStation first party games. That's all I'm getting at. Quit doing that stuff, man. It's, it's so ridiculous and it's, it's, it's not good. And I don't want to keep sitting here, you know, trying to find, you know, it, it just makes things negative. And I don't want this channel to be a negative channel. Like I don't, you know, but I do, I feel like PlayStation <sighs> is set in their ways. I don't feel like they're going to change. I feel like competition this generation is going to go straight to Xbox because they are bringing games. But if you love your PlayStation that much, like I'm I'm not I'm not here to I'm really not here to tear PlayStation down. Like I I'm not. But this is what real competition looks like for PlayStation, man. This is what real competition looks like. They've been doing it for a long time, money hat and games, keeping stuff off of Xbox, whatever, Nintendo. Hey man, I'm glad that Xbox is like, hey man, let's compete. Let's have a compete. Let's let's really compete. And this this is cool, man. I'm excited to be a gamer right now, and you should be too. And I I I just want I just want you guys to know that I am going to continue to co cover games on the consoles. Um, Gotham Knights. I will cover it on the Xbox platform. I will. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna pay the seventy bucks. I'm gonna cover it day one. As far as all the rest of the games go, yes, every game that I cover on this channel will always be, um, will always be console first. Will always be console first. I, I will, I will do the console version, and then later down the road, if I'm like, yeah, dude, I don't really want to see what this game can do on the PC, then I'll buy a PC copy when I can get it on Aniba or something for for a lower price. But I'm not gonna go and pay full price for the console game and then go pay full price for a PC game. Like I'm not gonna do that. Like my PC is designed to help me put out content for this channel and on the side i'll play around with it and benchmark games and look at them and and, and do that but I, I i was there for a second i was there for a second i was getting a little bit distracted i was getting distracted and i admit that i was getting distracted with stuff but man i'm just sitting there benchmarking games on the on the pc i'm not even really playing them all, all the way through i'm just benchmarking stuff on there and i'm like looking at it and and doing some stuff i i still haven't crossed that barrier to where i'm like yeah, man, I can treat the place, the, the PC like a thing because I'm just, I'm too busy. Like I'm, I'm, I'm too busy dawdling and it's, and it's kind of wasting my time on the channel to be completely honest with you. It's kind of wasting my time. So I, I do, I want to, I, I, there, there are certain experiences that I'm only going to be able to cover on the PC because they're, they're exclusive to PC platform. So I was, I'm still going to cover those. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not just saying that I'm only going to cover console stuff. No, I still will be covering some PC stuff, but mainly it, it, it'll be, it'll be consoles first, man. That's, that's the bread and butter of this channel. Like it really is like, that's, that's the base of this channel. That's what's built this channel. And 
I I appreciate it and I love it and I'm still going to be there playing these games in the trenches with you guys. Like I will still be racking up the gamer score on my Xbox and my PlayStation. And you know, I mean on the PC too every once in a while I'll, I'll have games to play on there, but I'm just getting spread too thin. I'm getting spread so thin with with um with getting sidetracked with all this PC stuff and yeah, that card that that 3080 is an amazing card. It's great. It it is awesome. To build that PC is right around 3000 bucks. <laughs> Three thousand bucks to play games over sixty frames a second. You know what I mean? Like, is it really worth it? I mean, they literally look basically the same. Like, the visuals are 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 probably the least. Well, I mean, when it comes to ray tracing or whatever, but the visuals are probably the the visuals are getting pretty close to being on par when it comes to the consoles and the PC. It's just you know now it's starting to get to the be the the performance. You know, and like ray tracing and other you know. The things that should stay on the PC for now, because these consoles just can't do that. They're the the I mean they 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 can't do it the way the PC can, and the the, the amount of performance we're losing for that, man, I just don't think it's worth it. I, I I personally don't think it's worth it. You need a beefy PC to be able to push past that, to be able to get a playable experience, to where it really looks good. And it's and it's just and it's like half it's like half step ray tracing that we're getting on consoles. Eventually, by the end of the generation, I, I think they'll be able to iron things out and be able to get more optimized, you know, um, engines for games, be able to do better things, things that we've never seen before. But it's going to take some time, guys. We It's going to take some time for that to happen. So just be patient. Just be patient. This is a console channel. That's the message for tonight. And I just I, I, I want to continue to be able to cover to cover the game. So, yes. Gotham Knights, I will have some content up for that at launch for Xbox Series X and for Xbox Series S. We'll go over performance, how it feels. I'll play it for a few hours. I'll probably play it. Uh, this is what I was planning on because because that's my birthday. So I'm going to, you know, maybe do uh, the, the 21st is my birthday. So I'm probably going to do like, you know, probably play some games, probably spend some time with the family, stuff like that. So. Um, I, I will be playing that for a few hours. I will have content out on my birthday for that game, but I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll go live. Maybe I'll go live too. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think mama wants to spend some time. So maybe I'll spend time with her, you know, on Thursday and then do that because that's the launch day for the game. So I need to get content out for that as soon as possible so that you guys know if it's worth spending your money on the things that we're going to look for. We're going to look for frame rate. We're going to see how it feels. We're going to see how the game plays and if it feels good enough to, to, to be like, okay, yeah, this is cool. We're going to look at the visuals of course, man, because it's a triple a $70 banger. So we're going to look at that. And the biggest thing I want to know and look at is the series S performance, man. If they're going to, cause you have to pay $70 for series S as well. So if it's not fully utilized or fully optimized for the series S, that's when we start to have a problem on this channel is like, Hey man, <laughs> optimize your game better for the Xbox series S you're still paying 70, but you're still charging 70 bucks for that. So it better be optimized good. And you better find, all the nooks and crannies and power of the series S and not just give us some, some problem, some, some potential game that doesn't re really run that well. So if you like this content, don't forget to like, and subscribe. Remember you guys are the ones that make this possible. You come in here, showing up, watching this content and being a, and, and supporting this channel is the reason we keep growing and the reason we're doing better. And the reason I take it, I, man, I, I probably take this channel so seriously that it's like, my gosh, man, it really does. It stresses me out a lot. It adds so much more stress to my life that, that like <laughs> always trying to wonder, you know, what kind of content you guys are going to want to watch, what kind of, you know, stuff that you guys want to see and, you know, being selfish and making content for myself that I want to watch, man, because that's the kind of content I want to watch and see. And I, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And you guys, the channel growing lets me know that you guys do care. So hit that like, hit that subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. And, uh, yeah, see you tomorrow.